So you worked on a Warner Brothers slide. I used to work here. This is actually my first job in Hollywood, right here at Warner Brothers, guys. Really? And it's, it's interesting because it brought back so many memories. When I was here, you would see celebrities. You would see like George Clooney on the lot, like throwing a football, or you would see the cast of Friends. I'll never forget the day I almost hit Brooke Shields with a golf cart. You did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was a PA. You know, we got to drive the carts. And they never really tell you how souped up they are, because some of the cars, they, they plug them in real good, and you go, and you go fast. And I was multitasking, not looking. I turned the corner, and I was like, oh, hi. Oh, my god. She was like, hi. I was like, and I was like, oh, thank goodness that didn't happen. Oh, that's, thank goodness that didn't happen. That's not how one of my Hollywood stories started. <laughs> OK, congrats on your season three of Southside. Thank you very much. Southside. Mm -hmm. Now, you started it, and you created it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, why did you want to make it? You know, uh, you know, my background is in comedy. I actually, uh, I got my start uh, writing for Jimmy Fallon. I used to work on uh, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon show oh, back wow. in the day. <laughs> yep. And you know, just wanted to make a comedy. Uh, my writing partner and I wanted to make a comedy about one of our hometowns. He's from Atlanta. I'm from uh, SM Diallo. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Chicago. And you know, our city, it's a place where usually when you read news about Chicago, you're like, oh my God. Right. And so we thought, let's show the side of the city that those of us who are from there know. Right. Which is the funniest people you've ever met, a hometown vibe, damn good food, and, you know, folks who it really feels like a small town sometimes in a big city. So our show really focuses on That's that. That's true. Just the comedy mm -hmm. and just showing the lighter side of things. I love that. Mm -hmm. I always say we got to accentuate the positive Come on of our now. city. Show so the positive. I'm Somebody glad that to. we, you know, trying to get in there and, and highlight the great things of Chicago because obviously great people come from Chicago. Yeah, Come on, right you know here, Jennifer Hudson, y'all. And, and great things can happen. <laughs> and I love, so you actually, like, will cast people, like, off yeah, the street. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, people say, what's it like shooting in Chicago? I said, well, the thing about Chicago is everybody who passes our set feels like the only thing missing is them. Mm. You know, like, come on, brother, come on. I know what you need. It's right here. <laughs> and so I was over my, uh, I was over my mom's house one time, and I, you know, like an adult, I wanted a snow cone, and I said, <laughs> I want a snow cone. She's like, you know, there's a guy on 80th and Vincennes, and he sells snow cones. I love him. And I went over there, and I, I was like, let me get that one right there. And he was like, brother, don't nobody order this. <laughs> I put it in the back for a reason. <laughs> And he just was the funniest person ever. And, you know, a couple days later, uh, I had our folks go talk to him. And now he's on the show. He's actually in the trailer for season three. I love it. Yeah, there he is. Oh, my God. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.